I was 50, 50 years old. Only skills I had was in printing. I don't know how to put out a resume. I don't, you know, and I got frustrated as a man. I got frustrated that I, that I should be further than I was. But I was comfortable where I was at because I was good at what I did. Then I got to thinking to myself, who am I frustrated with? You know, they, they didn't do it. So why am I coming here with an attitude with them? You know, so I changed my attitude and I said, okay. When I, when, I, when I graduated and I left, I always came back. I always came back to speak to the other classes to let them know that this program does work. I've been here about three weeks. I didn't really know what to expect when I came, to be honest with you. You know, I was like, oh my goodness, now to jump out in the field and trying to find a job with so many things that I had going on. I was hoping to get help, basically help to find a job. I had expectations on not getting a job. I had expectations on being held up, being held back, because there are a lot of programs out there that, you know, they're not as productive as EDSI has been. I didn't have a job. I was, I was a new father. I definitely came with the intentions on going to school and also being able to work part-time. I had to find a way to feed my family. I have to be a role model for my children. And I have to set opportunities and standards for them. And I feel as though if they see me doing things that's productive, that maybe they'll catch on. My inspiration and motivation are my children. I have four daughters and, you know, they are at their age where they look at their dad as that superhero. So that's what I'm here for, my kids. I got a job actually working at Hanneman Hospital. And the first thing he said was he was impressed because I had a cover letter and, and no other applicant had a cover letter. I thought I had a decent resume. I've had people help me with it before, but when I got here, I realized that there were some things that definitely needed work. Teaching us how to speak in an interview, how to dress, learning how to control our body language. If some people didn't know that you should go to an interview with a shirt and tie and have your shirt tucked in and not jeans and a t-shirt, they teach you that. More knowledge, I guess would say. More confidence in job search and in job interviews, like preparedness. Do a drive-by. I didn't know to do that either, which I'm going to do this weekend <laughs> to figure out where I'm going to be actually working. I was going in there just telling them, okay, here I am. I'm, I, I can do the job, but I wasn't explaining anything as far as skills or experience. I was giving them my experience, not my skills. To send a thank you letter. Never in my life, never did that before. The best part of the experience is getting the job. That even though it may feel like it's a hard thing to do to find a job, um, that we can do it. Their goal when they punch that clock in the morning is, I'm gonna help somebody succeed. They want you to do better. They want you to get out this system. They have career opportunities here, um, different companies that you, I could put in 30 years and retire from. It's not just any job, it's the right job for you. This program, EDSI, is very, very strong. Um, there is a lot of successful people here, and I am one of them. You know, being here at EDSI definitely helped me, and it also gave me the opportunity to encourage other people as well. The feel of you're, you're achieving something when you're here, every time you come in. So yeah, I'm confident. It's awesome.